hello! If you guys aren't following me on Twitch, please do so. It helps me out a lot. Uh, I appreciate it, so thank you in advance. Let's get into this pack opening and review. So, here are the different items that come out of this pack. Three different mounts, three different pets, three different gear sets, and three different wands. So, here are some pictures of them. I'm really excited to get into this, and hopefully we can get a mount. Probably not, but you never know. So, let's, let's try our luck. At this point, I've gone ahead and I've already opened a couple packs just because I want something for us to look at immediately. And this is the first out of three different mounts that they have available from this pack. I didn't get any of the permanent mounts, sadly, but I got some of the seven day mounts and I got some of the one day mounts. So this is a seven day mount. It's actually pretty decent for a seven day mount. It does 50% speed, um, which, you know, is a lot more than any other mount that we've seen uh, come out of a pack, to my understanding. This one also does 50% speed because it's a seven day mount. And I love the barrel roll. The barrel roll is awesome. It's a really, really cool mechanic. Um, and this is perfect if you have a life wizard or, you know, the last one if you have an ice wizard. Re really nice, aesthetically speaking. And lastly, we have the Stargazer's Rocket, which is my personal favorite because it changes colors. Now, I only got the one day mount, which is unfortunate. But as you can see, the flames change colors. The design on the body of the, the ship changed colors as well. And it looks really cool. If I could get the, uh, this is the one day mount, so it does 20% speed, which is kind of crap, but I'd be real happy if I could get the, the permanent or the seven day. So now that the mounts are out of the way, let's take a look at some of the gear. This is the Stargazer's Cowl. I really like this cowl. I'm going to be stitching it to my Malister's Cowl of Flux just because, aesthetically speaking, it's very unique and it looks a whole lot different from any of the other cowls that I've seen in the game so far. Um, but here's a little comparison of my current cowl and the Stargazer's Cowl. The stats aren't, aren't that great. Honestly, the stats aren't that great for any of the pieces of gear uh, in this pack. But... I think, again, aesthetically speaking, just kind of like the Druid's Lord pack, um, aesthetically speaking, it looks better than the stats. Also, it comes with a spell, so if you want to check out that spell, uh, you can head over to my Twitch, and there is a VOD there. I didn't include it in this video because it would be too long. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cowl. Alrighty, so now I'm going to take a look at some of the robes. This is the first robe that I got, which is the Cosmographer, yeah, Cosmographer's tunic. Um, and it's probably, it's, it doesn't explicitly say it, and obviously it doesn't like give an ice spell, but it is, in my opinion, ice themed, just because of the color scheme. I think it looks pretty decent. Um, I also have an Ice Wizard, and I don't think I'm going to be <laughs> using it for her, just because the stats, again, aren't that great. But, again, would be a great thing to stitch. So, looking at the boots, I had to, I had to change my robe, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see the boots, but... These boots are so cool, and I, I love the rainbow effect so, so much. Uh, I cannot wait to stitch the entire set rainbow because that will that will make me so so happy. So those are the stats compared to my Malastares Boots of the Flux, which I'm gonna stitch them with. And uh, as you can see, again. They have a uh, they have a lot more health than the Malastares Boots of the Flux, but otherwise they're not that great. So I'm not gonna wear them as is. 
But here's my favorite piece of gear that came out of this pack. It's the wand, which is the Stargazer's um, staff. The Stargazer's orary staff, I'm sorry. Um, I can't pronounce that. Or ugh, whatever. The Stargazer staff. And it uh, the stats-wise is actually not too bad. I will not be using it on its own, though. I'm going to stitch it immediately after this video. <laughs> Um, with my Staff of the Dragon's Maul, just because I really, really like my Staff of the Dragon's Maul. I love the critical block it does, so. And aesthetically speaking, I think the Orary Staff looks a lot better than Dra Staff of the Dragon's Maul. No offense to the Staff, I guess. <laughs> but uh, the only thing I wish that was different, I wish is that the Orary Staff was a little bit taller, because the Staff of the Dragon's Maul, like, it comes to, to my character's head almost. Um, this one's a little bit smaller. This is the second Orary Staff that I got. I didn't get all three. This is the Astromancer's Orary Staff, and it is the Life Myth Staff. Also looks really cool, so let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah, so, like I said before, it's a little short. Looks really sick, though. Um, honestly, it's not that different from the other one, other than the fact that that it doesn't change colors. So I prefer the Stargazers one just because it does change colors and I'm about that. So there we go. Now I put the full set on here just so you can see it except for the except for the wand. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other tunic that I just realized I had which is the Astromancer's Tunic. Um, it's actually a bit better than the Stargazer's Tunic, but aesthetically speaking, not quite there. It's still, I mean, it's still great. It's just, it's, you know, it's not rainbow. So I'm definitely not going to be stitching that on this particular set, but maybe on a different one. Finally, let's take a look at the pet, which is named Dr. Sparkles for some reason. Um, and he is a, this is the ice pet, so he has like a little like ice star on his backpack. And he's got, a, I, I mean, the fact that he has a backpack alone is amazing. I love him. He's awesome. So at this point in the video, I was going to show the wand cast, but I decided that it's too similar to any other wand cast. So I just want to show the pet cast instead, because that is beautiful. There he is. He's adorable. Um, anyway, let's open some more packs. So, there we go. Astrologer's Horde Pack. Let's buy that. Then we got a mount. It's one day, so kind of useless. Um, I'm probably going to trash it, to be honest. Got another pet. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is the Stargazing, Stargazer's Rat, which I, again, I think that they call them rats. Like, that's, that's kind of hilarious to me. But yeah, all right, so here, here I'm looking for the rat. <laughs> it, it took a hot second because I'm, uh... oh, okay, there, there he is. He's beautiful. Um, again, he's got a cute little star on his backpack, except he's rainbow this time. So I'm, I'm here for that. I love, I love the rainbow stuff. Rainbow stuff looks so cute. And he also comes with a spell. So his spell is called Supercharge, which is a storm spell, so I don't actually need it. But I might end up using him on another character, we'll have to see. So let's open a couple more packs before I am out of crowns. Nothing too good, another pet. I have like five pets at this point though, so I don't really need any more pets. Um, one thing I will say about this pack, though, guys, is that if you want this pet, you have a pretty high chance of getting them, because I've only opened, like, maybe... There's another one, see? I've only opened, like, maybe, like, 10, 20 packs, maybe? Which I know is a lot, but I've gotten so many pets. Like, I've gotten at least one pet every two packs, so it's pretty good. Pretty good drop rate. Um, all right, so the last thing I want to show y'all is this... Uh, some of the housing items, as you probably know at this point, or if you don't know, you're about to. 
uh, this pack is based off Celestia. So there are a lot of housing items that are from Celestia. And there are a lot of ones that we've seen already before. Like here, here, so the wallpaper, the flooring, that's all from the pack. And all of these beautiful, beautiful paintings are also from the pack. Um, but again, you can craft them, you can get them from Celestia and various drops and whatever. But here's another look at the staff. I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, again, I'm definitely gonna be stitching the other staff on this particular character. But um, I might end up stitching that one on a different character or with a different set. So anyway, here is another painting. There are, let's see, like six or seven different paintings that I've found in this pack. So if you like those paintings, this is a you get a, got a pretty good chance of getting them from this pack. And then here are all the rat pets that I've got from this pack. They look more like mites to me, but you know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please follow me on Twitch if you're not already. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 50, so um, really helps me out a lot. But thank you again. Stay safe and uh, peace out.